Tonight, indoor dining gets another much needed boost. More people are allowed inside, but it's not just good news for customers. It's also welcome news for workers. Angie Gonzalez is live in Jackson Heights with more on that. Angie. Yeah, that's right, Cheryl. With the increase to 35% capacity, restaurant owners are excited about this news because now they have choices to offer their customers. And you know what? It couldn't come at a better time considering the wet weather that we're expecting this weekend. It's been almost a year since this many people have been allowed in the indoor dining area at Mojitos on Northern Boulevard. And they're only at 35% capacity. Still, owner Marcus Munoz is thrilled. Oh, this is amazing, not only for us, but it's amazing for our customers as well. Customers will have an option right now. If they would like to sit outside, if it's a beautiful day, they could sit outside, right? If it's a chilly day, a rainy day, we, we're going to have the option to sit them indoors. Before this latest increase, COVID capacity restrictions on New York City restaurants never reached above 25 percent. At one point late last year, owners had hoped that indoor dining capacity would increase to 50 percent. But that never happened, at least not in the five boroughs. An increasing indoor occupancy from 25 to 35 percent is a step in the right direction. But when you speak with restaurateurs, they will tell you they desperately need at least 50 percent occupancy, like restaurants throughout the rest of New York State have had since back in June to give them a fighting chance of survival. And while not 50 percent yet, the increase to 35 percent capacity has given Munoz the confidence to bring back more employees and give others more hours. He's even hired a new indoor dining hostess. At her old job, she'd been struggling to make ends meet because of COVID-related cuts that she says started in the fall. I used to have, to have like 40 hours. Mm -hmm. So after that, like every month, it was like lower, like 26 hours, 18 hours, 15 hours. But even with the expansion of indoor dining, outdoor dining is still a hit <laughs> with Mojito's customers. If I'm hungry, hey, the food is good. Why not sit outside? As long as they give me a little heat, I'm good. Munoz spent a lot of time and money putting together this elaborate outdoor dining area. His only apprehension now is about the future of structures like his. As hopefully indoor dining continues to make a comeback, he hopes they'll be allowed to keep both. Hopefully they don't take our opportunity to make our money back, right? Hopefully they'll, they'll leave that forever. And you know what? There is some regulations or some regulations that are in place, Cheryl, that mean indoor dining, while it might continue to increase, at least outdoor dining is going to stick around. In September of last year, you may remember that Mayor de Blasio announced that outdoor dining would become a year-long thing. And then after that, City Council passed legislation that called for a permanent outdoor dining program that would go into effect in September of this year. In Jackson Heights, Angie Gonzalez, New York One, Cheryl, back to you. Hey, Angie, good job out there tonight. Thank you for that. We move from Queens now to 